Of course, at the time when there's free fall, I don't know that it's going to stop at all. So, so the whole thing was, was a pretty frightening experience. Well, that frightening moment was when the elevator malfunctioned inside Columbus's tallest building. Thanks for joining us at six, everybody. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. Now, that attorney was not hurt, but he was shaken in this incident. New tonight, 10 investigates found inspection records showing that that elevator should not have been operating. Here's Chief Investigative Reporter Bennett Haverly. Andrew, these inspection records detail how the elevator car number 10 inside the Rhodes Tower was malfunctioning and not operating during its last inspection in May of 2021. What's more, the State Department that inspects these elevators says it has no record that that elevator was reinspected and should not have been in service. Assistant Attorney General Brett Kravitz says he was leaving his state office inside the Rhodes Tower February 1st was on his way down an express elevator when someone riding with him got off on the 18th floor. After that, Brett says something happened. He heard a cable snap and began to descend. The whole experience to me was like the demon drop in the sense that you feel like you're dropping, uh, so, uh, all, and then all of a sudden you stop and kind of jerk. Uh. Brett notified security he was stuck somewhere between the 18th floor and the lobby. Because this was an express elevator, Brett says there were no elevator exits between the 18th floor and the ground, meaning firefighters had to cut through the wall somewhere around the 12th floor to rescue him. Inspection records reviewed by 10 investigates show elevator car number 10 was malfunctioning during its last inspection in May of 2021. The inspector noted the unit was not in operating condition and was not showing the correct floor. A spokeswoman for the Department of Commerce's Division of Industrial Compliance, which inspects the elevators, said they have no record of the required reinspection before the elevator resumed operating. The same one Brett was riding in last week when the cable snapped. It is upsetting that this is something that uh, appears to have been entirely preventable. Um, and I am aware that now a lot of work's being done on those elevators. So I'm thankful that some action is being taken as a result of this preventable event. And we reached out to the Department of Administrative Services, which manages state office buildings, to ask them what's up with this elevator. A spokeswoman told us that a third party manages the reinspections following violations. DAS says they'll be meeting with that company this week to review the work that was performed specifically on Elevator 10. Andrew. All right, Bennett, thanks so much. If you have something you want Bennett to look into, let him know. You can email your tips to 10investigates at 10tv.com.